Hello everyone, welcome back to another scouting adventure here. Uh, today I'm in Wisconsin again in Dane County out at the Bosco unit of the Sugar River Wildlife Area. I'm uh, gonna try to see how many good compositions I can get here and hopefully for future reference, anyone watching this, you'll have a good idea what to expect if you come here. Oh, it is so beautiful out here. There is just this gorgeous scene behind me, yellow flowers, uh, the river running through it. It is just so beautiful. If you had a decent tripod, there'd be a composition you could get, but unfortunately, I think you'd have to have a taller tripod than I have. But for anyone interested, like there's this gorgeous little picnic area, barns by it. Man, you could, do, you could definitely get some cool shots here. I think I'm gonna skip it in the hopes of something better, but yeah, definitely a fun little intro to this area. Ah, uh, so came across this gorgeous vantage point here. Uh, so this place is kind of like, it feels like it's walking an old farm. Or, well, a still active farm, because, yeah, it's definitely plowed and there's crops all around, but... Yeah, it kind of just runs along the river here, walking through an old farm, and came across this just gorgeous composition behind me. Uh, so I just did a handheld shot since it's that time of the day where I can still do it. I'll share that with you in just a sec here. Oh, I found another just absolutely beautiful scene. I just love all this bright green just stretching back. Got that cornfield started in the background. Something about it I thought was just really beautiful. Uh, so I'll show you what I made with it here in a sec. And yeah, kind of a cool scene. I bet there'd be a lot of things to do with it at different times of the year. So I came across this little concrete bridge crossing the river. I just well, leaves me open to some gorgeous compositions. I shot some video footage of uh, what I got here. Uh, but I'm gonna spend a little bit of time, try to take some photos and see what I can get from this bridge. And I will share all of that with you. So here it comes. Okay, so finished taking pictures of the bridge. Hope everyone enjoyed them. Uh, personally, I think the ones I got from this area turned out pretty good. Uh, but that leaves me with a choice. I've got this path behind me that looks like it goes to a farm field. Or over this way, I could keep following down the river and kind of like bushwhack it through the farm field, it looks like. So I'm gonna try heading down this way first, see if there's anything good I can get. And then if I still got light, I'm gonna try the other way. Okay, well that looks like I've come to the end of this. Uh, the road just kind of ended right into the road and looks like if you had an all-terrain vehicle you might be able to cross it, but a little deeper than I feel like fording at the moment. So I can probably, I'm guessing that other trail kind of loops back around to this point. Uh, but there are these cool logs right here on the edge. So uh, with that being stated, I'm going to try to get a composition that includes those, see if there's anything creative I can come up with. Uh, 
Uh, looks like there's some potential at this spot if you want to get a good shot. Uh, so the sun is kind of setting over that way, so not really much good for sunset. I could see potential of some really good sunrise compositions for, compositions from like facing that way. Uh, but yeah, not much for sunset down at this end. Uh, off the bridge, you could probably get something really cool at sunset though. So might give that a shot here in a little bit. Okay, hopefully this comes out okay. Uh, so I found another shot where I really like the composition. I had just kind of down this line of corn and then there's the sun up there. So I kind of used the roll of thirds on this composition and trying for a good starburst. Uh, seemed like a really cool spot with good possibilities. Uh, I'd assume actually like right at sunset, this would be a pretty stellar shot or something in here. You could get a really good composition like mixing the corn with this like mode field. But I don't know, that's up to you to decide. But here's what I came out with. Ah, so I came across this really cool composition. I got this tree up in here and uh, a nice south facing view. I, I'm not sure if you can actually come here at night. I need to look into that. I feel like you might be able to because it's a wildlife area, but if so, like, oh, that'd be a killer Milky Way shot you could get. But I don't know, have to do a little bit of research. But regardless, here's the shot I got, uh, some sort of example of what you could do with it. Okay, so I'd made it to the end of the trail there, and yeah, there was about what I thought. It ran back into the other one. So that's about the end of this area. Yeah, on that note, I'm back at the bridge. I'm going to try to line up some sort of cool sunset composition here. Uh, I'll show you what I get for that and any other miscellaneous photos I've taken along the way here. I hope everyone's enjoyed the tour of this area. And as far as the photography location, I would say it's got some really good scenes, really good potential. Uh, the scene facing east is actually quite gorgeous, so it'd be a beautiful sunrise location. Sunset, a little more tricky, but uh, definitely manageable. Uh, if you're shooting portraits, uh, there's some really good backgrounds, trees, fields. Uh, the creek. Honestly, there's some cool stuff you could do with portraits here too. But yeah, if you've enjoyed this and found it helpful at all, definitely be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons so you can see more content like this. And hopefully I will see everyone next time.